All right, so we have set up now a stage file where we bring over our final frames. So I have two frames now, <laughs> not too much. And then I have my assets where I can build all these frames. So this was the last frame I built. Now I go back to here and I'm going to alter it some more, just a little bit. And I want to start growing. Let me look at my storyboard here. I want to introduce the character, right? So I'm going to start growing, not that big, to here. But I think I might want to stretch it a little bit more first. So I'm going to do just a little transform and a little warp. And just push it a little bit more. Then I'm going to do that with the others as well. Just a little change. But these I'm going to push back just a tiny bit. So it's like they're, they're shuffling around and breathing. My hero one is the only one that's growing. I don't need any of the reflections. I just need the mounds. And I don't need puppet warp for these because they're just Regular warp works fine, but if you want really specific movement, you can try puppet warp on them. But it just takes the extra time of having to um, plot the anchor points. Okay, the other thing is once you animate something, you need to kind of animate everything. You have to keep things moving. So I played with, with the, uh, the lighting and the mist, right? And now I'm going to play with that again. I need to play with it every time. And so that was layer four. And so I'm going to play with the opacity a little bit. And I'm going to move it a little bit. And I can actually stretch it and move it. These organic things are fun to play with. Okay, so now to get this next in between, between my first two panels, I go to the very top of my assets, I hold down option and I say layer merge visible. It gives me a new flattened layer at the top. And then I say select all Shortcut is Command A, and then I say Edit, Copy, Shortcut is Command C. Then I go over to my stage, I go to my topmost layer, and I say Edit, Paste, Command V. So it's Command A, Command C, move over to your stage, Command V. And then I can see, I've got three steps here. Very nice. And I can play through those as much as I want right, in my animation, but I've got my frames. So now I'm going to start revealing my character. So when I go back to my assets, I first have to delete this merged layer. So the first thing I have to do is do Command D to deselect, because if I hit delete now, it will just delete all the pixels from the layer, but it won't delete the layer. So I hit Command D, and then I hit delete to get rid of that layer. Now I'm going to start with my head reveal. Remember this stuff? I built built a lot of it. Oh, that's where I built it big, so I don't need this one, I need this one. There we go. So I go to my head reveal cycle, and I'm gonna go to the very bottom of it, right there. And then it's a combination of this hair and that head, <laughs> right? So the head's starting to come out. Okay, then I'm also going to play with my hero mound a little bit and keep it shuffling. Just a little bit, just a little bit of a warp as that head starts to reveal. And I'm gonna play with the sky behind. I'm gonna take its opacity down a little bit and I'm gonna move it a little bit up and out. And then I have to think, well, what do I want to do with all these other mounds? And 
and I actually think what I want to do to speed things up, bless you, is I just want to let them kind of be still. So what I'm going to do is move all those mounds, all the ones except the hero mound, Going to merge them together and then move them behind, behind my hero. Okay, so that looks good. What I like it by having the stage here is you can compare what you're building on your assets. Oops, what am I doing? So the lighting's a little different. There we go, is that closer? Nope. All right, that's gonna work. And so now that they're all combined, I'm gonna mark that as, let's see, blue. Now I can just warp all of these just a little bit just to give them a little bit of movement, ah, but not a ton. They're gonna kind of just all move together now, so I don't have to do each one each time. Okay, so that, now let's bring that, that's the first of my um, head reveal frames. So I'm gonna to go to option, then layer, merge visible. And we're just going to do this a lot. And then Command A to select all, Command C to copy, go to the stage, and Command V to paste it in. See? And I have to do quite a few of these just to get to introducing the character. So the next one, I have to hit Command D to deselect, delete that merge layer, go to my next head reveal, merge or uh, warp the mound a little bit, a little bit up. It's kind of waking and shifting. And eventually I'm gonna turn this one on, right? This will probably be the next one I turn on. In fact, I can even turn it on a little bit and keep it at a, whoops, keep it at a lower opacity. Okay, then I go to the blue. And transform all of these a little bit. And they're gonna pretty much settle down so I don't need to mess with them much anymore. And then I'm gonna go to the sky, change its opacity a little bit, maybe clear it up and move it down and in and why not warp it a little bit more? It's like the fog machine going over the scene. Okay, so it's gonna go from this to this. Yes, I think I've changed all the things I wanna change. Actually, let's see, the blue, I don't want them quite so big, so I'm gonna shrink them a little. There we go. So you kind of test it out. Yep, that's better. Okay, so now I go to the very top. I hold down Option. I say Layer, Merge Visible. I select all with Command A, Command C to copy it, go to my stage, go to the topmost layer, Command V to paste it in, and now I have a sequence of five layers starting to reveal my character's head even more. Go back, hit Command D to deselect, delete that merge layer, reveal the next stage of the head, maybe up the opacity on the body a little bit, maybe start warping down the hero body here, and then play with all of them just a little <coughs> bit. Just 
little bits of movement. It's like they're moving in the current and then play with the sky. And then move it around. And then go to the top. Well, let's see. So it goes from that to that. Yes, I like that. Except I want to move all these big mounds. Maybe up a little bit and over. Maybe up a little bit and over some more. <laughs> Yep, that's better. Okay, now go to the top, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, Command A, Command C, Command V. Now this is trying to deal with a lot of components at once, but it's working out. So the head's almost fully revealed, but I haven't finished my cycle. I have still two more. So I hit Command D, uh, delete the combined frame, Put in the next two stages of the head reveal. I think the body, let's see, I'm gonna push this up in opacity even more. I'm gonna warp this down even more. So that st starts to matter less and less. Then I'm going to just really barely do a movement at all. Just trying to do the smallest little bit of movement to start settling these down so we focus more and more on the creature. Because we're going to do a zoom pretty soon into the revealed creature. Then I don't need to worry about all the stuff behind. Then I gotta play with the sky. Take it back down, move it around. You can do this with stars, you can do it with clouds. Then go to the top, option, layer, merge visible. Getting a lot done today, lots of frames. Command A, Command C. Go over to your stage, Command V, paste it in. You can see the head's fully revealed, almost. Go to the next stage, but before I can see it, I have to hit Command D and <coughs> get rid of the combined layer. Now the head's fully revealed, full size. I'm going to turn off. Oh. Actually, no, that's kind of helpful. I'm going to leave that on. Um, let's see. What can I do? I can move it a little bit, though. It's like a reflection. Move it down and then play with all these guys, or maybe the last time. Slight jitter. So I started with them moving a lot. Now I have them moving almost not at all. So that we're focusing on my creature. And then the sky. Okay, I go to the top. Hold down Option. Layer. Merge Visible. It's just like... In your assets folder, you're arranging all your little puppets and backgrounds and fog machines and everything into the scene you want. And then by merging visible, you're taking the, the film camera and taking a shot. So then you have to cut or take from the camera by selecting it all, Command A, copying it all, Command C, and then moving it over onto your film strip, which is your stage file, Command V. And then you can play through it. And as soon as I get done with this sequence, I'll show you an animation test. Okay, so that is the finished reveal. So now, okay, I'll get rid of that combined layer. I'll save my assets there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do an animation test of just all those those frames. And that's really just to get from this keyframe to this keyframe. So I needed eight, eight frames to get from here to here. So how do we run an animation test? And it's just a test. We're gonna undo all of this after we see how it works.